Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I'm Star. I'm here to do a collective reading for April 15th through the 30th. If you are not subscribed to the channel, why the heck not? Get on over there and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notification of any videos that I put up or new content. Otherwise, you're not going to know. If you are a return subscriber, thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Happy Easter to everybody. Happy Easter, Scorpio. Sound off in the comments section below, baby. You know that's your section. Take what fits in this reading, what resonates, and leave the rest. If anything does resonate with you, do me a solid. Hit that thumbs up and share the content, won't you? Let's do this, Scorpio. How you doing, darling? How you doing? How you doing? Spirit's ready to speak to you, darling. Ooh, we. Ace of Cups, right off the bat. So we're talking about some sort of health, beauty, love, and joy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, showing up in your reading, Scorpio. Showing up, darling. Woo-wee. Scorpio, justice in reverse, false accusations, some unfairness, maybe even abuse going on or have a biased opinion. What is this with Libra spirit? Tell Scorpio. Take her. She's crossing the Nine of Pentacles. The Page of Swords is in the crowning energy. Ooh, we, Scorpio, another Ace of Pentacles in the past. Two Aces on the board might mean something to you. Hermit in the Foundation. What is the outcome, Spirit? Ooh, three of swords, broken heart, possibly, broken relationship, Libra, Scorpio right there, showing up again, to the four of pentacles, somebody holding back, possibly, misering, Capricorn and Scorpio showing up again, seven of wands in your environment, in reverse, Someone had an advantage, or they had, there's an indecision going on here with Leo. Another ace on the board. That's three aces. Men are meeting up. Men are meeting up. Ace of Wands is a profitable new beginning in anything that you want, any new journey you want. To the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into it, shall we, darling? Happy Easter to you. Remember, take what fits in the reading and leave the rest, okay? You know your story. This may be, be surrounding some sort of traditional values or belief systems that you have. Whatever it is, it has to do with some sort of good health, harmony, joy, and beauty. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, right? But the justice card has come out in reverse telling me that you know libra is here this could be a false accusation some unfairness or a biased opinion that this queen in solitude this nine of pentacles well-off queen might have had or had is having with someone let's find out what is this spirit what is this unfairness The Nine of Swords in reverse. Unselfishness. That's good news. That's healing. Whatever it is, you're healing. Oh, shit. That's too many, Spirit. Whatever it is, it's healing. It's healing. One more, Spirit. Damn, those flew out like a firecracker, baby. So you're healing and building a situation here. Yeah. So you're healing right here. Coming out of this nine of swords energy. You might be single from this person right now due to an injustice done to you or something that was unfairly done to you. And you have your, your healing here and you have your head down working hard you will be seen you're having some success with the situation scorpio and then the page of swords is in the crowning energy 
the five of swords on the bottom. There may be some debates and conflict that has happened, and you came in, yes, and you came in some information about it with the page. It flew right on it. The Ten of Cups in reverse. It has to do with quarrels, a broken relationship, a waste of your time, you feel. What is this? Oh, God. Because you were working really hard with your head down, wondering why things weren't coming in, and it caused a tower. This information that you came into light with about these quarrels, this wasted, broken relationship, you were working really hard on this relationship. You had your head down working really hard, and, and you didn't care what happened, but, and they, but it brought on a tower out of the blue. Uh, that's why this ace is here. That's why there's three aces on the board. Look up threes, and um, this is a value. You know your value, right, with the ace of pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Happiness, pleasure, prosperity. Clarify this, Spirit. What's this tower and this ace of pentacles? Damn. Another ace, an ace of swords. This might have caused some obstacles. There might be a power struggle here, Scorpio, with someone. Mm -hmm. God, it's flowing right on there. Nine of wands. So you, this may have been a power struggle that you've had to be obstinate with and stand your ground. And this is a victory with the nine of wands, right? It's a victory, but it's, it's, it's defense, you're being defensive because of the ace coming out in reverse. The ace of swords coming out in reverse is that this could be a power struggle you had with someone that caused this tower and you were working hard on this ten of pentacles. It could do with the king of wands in reverse. He's on the bottom of the deck. And unyielding prejudice quarrels mm -hmm, causing this five of wands. You know, debates, taking you some courage to overcome competition with the five of wands. Leo, wow. Wow, spirit. Okay, slow down. <sighs> Temperance yourself, spirit saying. Have some moderation in this situation. Because you're hermiting. You've gone inside looking for the star. Whatever this conflict is, this power struggle has caused you some heartache. You've gone inside, you are moderating this situation because you're tired of this five of wands. You're tired of these debates, this competition it's causing you. It might even be a lawsuit you're dealing with here. What is the three of swords, Spirit? Why the three of swords? Three of swords may have to do with a king of pentacles, a reliable person in your life, someone that was holding title, and the Seven of Cups in reverse saying that this is, took some willpower and some determination to overcome from this this king. This king sits there, right, in his throne. And he can be sometimes not very emotional. He thinks about his pentacles, right, all the time. And he's not up in his heart a lot of the time and can be can, can be accused of that but this person was a reliable person and then the seven of cups coming out in reverse tells me scorpio this is taking you some determination to overcome this situation surrounding a two of cups in reverse a two of cups in reverse is 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 a, possibly a misunderstanding you had with this king maybe or it was a, a violent, passionate ending with this king because somebody was unwisely holding back or you're unwisely holding back, Scorpio. Who's holding back here, Spirit? Who's holding back here? Four wands. You're dissatisfied. There's a completion, a cycle completion, and you're, you've, you've retreated. You've gone into exile. 444 might mean something to you. Uh, right on your energy, Scorpio. 444. So, misering. Coming into a completion of finding that out and celebrating it. Taking yourself into exile because it's broken your heart. It caused this tower. And then this seven of wands in reverse. 
he's saying this is an advantage that someone had over you and or it was an indecision on their part or your part. What is the seven of wands in reverse spirit? The ten of swords. Endings. Failure. Virgo. What is this ten of swords? There's been a cycle ending. There may be a knight coming towards you with a proposal of some sort. Know that this is a knight, not a king. There may be king, men meeting up because you have three aces on the table. This flew right on it. Spirit's speaking to you, Scorpio. This has caused a grave delay. And the proposal is probably due to some sort of lack of confidence or insecurity one has over this ending <laughs> to the ace of in your environment in your hopes and fears anything uh, you want profitable new journey here aries leo sag what's this new beginning let your talent shine scorpio you will be seen with the page that's love that's good news you're tired of feeling this left out in the cold and you fear that will happen to you unscrupulous release you had to release and didn't want to to your outcome the eight of cups going down the hill gonna come back pick up the cups is it a turnaround you're bossed up to an emperor's status and you're leaving a situation and you're hanging on to your traditional values scorpio way to go you're sitting in this energy of the king of swords Surrounded by some traditional values or a marriage or a relationship that's broken up with an emperor. You may have a turnaround with them again. There's been an unscrupulous release or you fear that because you don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. Three aces on the table. Look it up. And three fours on the table. Look those up. It's a beautiful reading. You are in hermit mode. Spirit's helping you and you're done with the conflict. You no longer want to have this broken heart. And the two of cups in reverse is saying this could be a misunderstanding with the seven of cups in reverse, right? This could have been a misunderstanding with a knight that's taken you some determination to overcome and it's broken your heart. Do not let someone miser you. Stay in this exile as long as you need to. Your sword is there. You can grab it at any time. You're placed in ending to a situation over here. Watch for a proposal coming from a knight. Your hopes and fears right now. You're thinking about being left out in the cold by somebody. Don't let anybody do that. You've released let your talent shine in spirit says you have a profitable new journey on the table and you have bossed up to this and you are hanging on to traditional values whether you go down that mountain and come around and pick those cups up and have a turnaround with this emperor if that's your emperor or whether or not you go down that mountain and come back and that's you the emperor and standing in your values you know your story I love doing this for you guys so, so much. Please sound off in the comment section below. Namaste.